Hey everybody, it's Tim with Broken Dice. As you can tell, I'm in the big room today. I got a mess going on in my painting room. So we're gonna do this video out here. So on this video, I'm gonna go over my Dark Age Warriors that I got done. I did two more old 54 millimeter. They're either Gaelic or, I think they're Gaelic Warriors. Um, two survivalists for A Song of Ice and Fire. Um, basically to be used in my house Stark army and then four British priests for my North African army for flames of war so let's get the uh, camera moved over to the table and we'll show you what's up first okay we're back down here on the table uh, this is uh, ten of my Dark Age warriors are from Gripping Beast done with like Vallejo and C3 <laughs> Uh, see, well, gosh, good goodness gracious, can't even talk this morning. Um, they've done it with P3 paints, contrast paints. Um, uh, I did them like just basic warriors, just kind of they're going to be there to flesh out the ranks and stuff. Um, as you can also tell, I don't have them on their permanent base that I'm going to use them with because I'm not sure. I've got a bunch of these models left to paint, and I'm not sure if I want to use them in like um, on bases for like units or open order stuff like this uh, I may I may make several bases of them I for them I don't know because I you know they were originally purchased to do saga uh, nobody around here is playing saga right now so uh, I may just have to uh, bite the bullet and make different trays for them um, to use them in uh, different games and then obviously in more of the skirmish the small scale games especially like clash of spears and stuff like that you don't have to worry about the bases and stuff so yeah but they're nice i like them uh i didn't you know the shields are very basic i didn't do them like you know the very ornate like viking shields and stuff you know more your your poor guys that uh, just don't have the money <laughs> or maybe they're just working too hard but yeah, uh, they're okay models. They're okay models. I'm going to try to branch out and maybe get some different um, Dark Age stuff so I can see uh, some differences in them. Uh, I don't know. As Like I said, this isn't like a major project for me, but it, it's kind of slowly turning into that. Okay, so let's take a look at what's coming up next. That'll be the 54 millimeter. So here we have our, our very inexpensive 54 millimeters uh, that I had in my pile of shame and uh, just uh, bringing them out, throwing some paint on them. Maybe uh, someday if he, I think they'd come in handy if I got a youngster that uh, wants to play or something, I can put these cheap plastic ones on the table because I've got about, oh, 32 of them. And so they could play like a little simple game, set it up, and let them move them around and things. So, and, and you know, and they're and they're cheap, and they're that rubbery type stuff, and it's very hard to paint. By the way, it's very hard to get your paint to stay on. Uh, but that's uh, they're <laughs> they let's just say they are what they are, and they're really not expected to be more than that. But you know, a lot of times, like I'll. I'll have, I used to use these to uh, practice color schemes and different techniques and stuff because, you know, they're not that expensive and no harm, no foul. So, you know what I mean? Uh, so let's go on to the next. We'll look at the uh, two survivalists for A Song of Ice and Fire. And here we got my two attachments uh, for uh, my Stark faction. Um, these are survivalists. And... And like with most games where you have attachments or heroes or characters or something, they allow the, the unit to do something special. Um, I just thought I'd add these. I got the uh, attachment box, so I've been slowly working through it. Um, they're fun. I mean, one great thing about, you know, these models from Simon Games is that they come assembled. They are what they are, you know they're okay sculpts and some of them are really pretty good but you know <laughs> the 
these are just uh, a couple of guys here that I can have a unit do. I do believe, I think it's like they get their, if, if a unit hasn't activated yet and they get charged by a unit that has one of these guys in it, you get to re-roll your misses and stuff like that. And it's, or I don't know, stuff like that. And it is what it is, you know. So like, like in every game, you, you get stuff, you know, stuff that makes stuff go up and stuff that makes stuff go down, you know, and it's neither here nor there. But I, I you know, they, I kind of enjoyed these guys. I gave them a more of a, a woodsy kind of a look. Um, although they do have snow on their bases, so that kind of matches the rest of the theme of the army. But again, uh, my go-to, <laughs> you know, Vallejo. P3 paints, contrast paints, um, none oil or a sepia wash or, you know, um, that sort of thing. I had to use the Woodland Scenics snow effect for the ground, for the, for the base. And uh, I went over that, how I do that anyway. It's, it's on another video. Uh, anyway, that's those guys. Let's uh, move on to the priest. So here I have my four British priests for Flames of War for my North African army. Um, I am really happy the way the uh, camouflage turned out on these guys. Uh, fun models, very easy to put together. Uh, you got some really nice detail on them for 15 millimeter. Um, can't wait to get them on the table and see what they can do. But uh, they were really fun to paint. Very, um, very easy to paint. Um, except for, you know, like I've said in the last few videos about camouflage, it's like, it's a learning curve. And I think this is some of the, the best camouflage I've done on any of my tanks. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy the way these guys turned out. That's they're, they're very, uh, nice. I really like them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're they're really fun. Um, I got the Bryn gun carriers yet to do. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get those in next week or not. May try a unit of infantry. Um, I'm having trouble with my airbrush right now. I don't know what's going on with it. It's sticking, and I've cleaned it. I've I've run the brushes through it and everything, but. Uh, I have to, I use that a lot on this sort of Flames of War stuff. Especially getting all the base coats on. But I do hand paint the, the camo. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's what I've been up to this week. So I hope all your projects have gone well. I hope uh, everybody stays safe and well. Uh, prayers for what's going on in the Ukraine. I don't want to get off on that because... That could be a whole video on its own, but uh, prayers to all those people, all the hobbyists that we know and we we follow on Facebook and Instagram. That there's a lot of them in the Ukraine, and uh, you know, send them your love, send them your prayers. Uh, everybody else, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you next time.